and welcome to my Facebook ads training for beginners. Now in this section I'm just going to give you a nice introduction to what the course is about, what is covered, why Facebook ads are important and why you definitely need to know how to use them properly and basically a bit about myself. And then we'll get into the nitty gritty of the course content, we'll get stuck into Facebook ads and we'll start developing your knowledge and skills on the topic and hopefully by the end of the course you'll be confident in creating your own Facebook ads campaigns for whatever objective you might have be that running an e-commerce website that you would like to drive traffic to through Facebook ads building an email list or some other lead generation getting installs for your mobile app or even if you run a local or service based business physical or online Facebook ads are vitally important and you'll see in the next video, when I just in the next few videos, um, when I show you a couple of insane stats about Facebook ads and Facebook in general, and you'll realize the importance of knowing Facebook ads inside out and being able to run them and how important it is in today's day and age, in today's advertising and marketing landscape. So let's get started. So what are Facebook ads? They're basically adverts that are shown on Facebook and Instagram and a couple of other places too, but mainly Facebook and Instagram. You'll have seen them before when you're, you're logged into either of these two social media platforms when you're browsing and an advert or sponsored post, as they like to call them, will pop up on your timeline or newsfeed. That is a Facebook or Instagram ad. Now you can run ads to Instagram through your Facebook ads manager because Instagram is now owned by Facebook. I just want to clear that up because I've had a lot of people ask me already, are you going to do an Instagram ads course? No, I'm not because my Facebook ads course includes Instagram ads. And you can run Facebook ads via the Facebook ads manager or Facebook business manager. And they're often used to promote local businesses, service based businesses, be it physical or online websites such as blogs, uh, guide static page websites, one single page website, online businesses such as e-commerce, um, Shopify, WordPress, WooCommerce, Magento, dropshipping businesses, lead generation, mobile apps, and even print-on-demand product pages. And I've even seen Facebook ads used to promote Facebook ads consultancy and Facebook ads management services, which is sort of like Inception. So let's talk about social media in general and why Facebook ads are really important. You will know as well as I do that social media is a part of our daily lives and for me personally not a day goes by that I don't check one or all of my social media accounts because social media accounts are an extension of our physical selves and we spend more time on social media now than ever before and therefore advertising budgets from big brands to small businesses are increasingly moving towards spending more on social. And as Facebook is the king of social, Facebook therefore becomes the king by default of social ads until something bigger comes along. And whether it will come or won't come is another question entirely. Traditional advertising is a lot less relevant today, especially if you're targeting teens, millennials or young people. And that's because, to put it simply, their eyes are on social media more often than it is on a TV, on a magazine, or a newspaper. So let's talk about Facebook ads reach and data. Who do Facebook ads get shown to? Clearly, they just get shown to users and browsers of Facebook. You can't show a Facebook ad to someone that isn't on Facebook. But luckily for us, there are billions of Facebook users today. Pretty much the whole of the Western world is on Facebook. I think it's around 2 billion monthly active users, which is just incredible. And as I said, it's an extension of our physical selves. Facebook is our online personality. It's a hyper personality, but it is our online personality. And Facebook, because we are so active on this platform, collects masses of data on who we are, what we do, who we hang out with, the celebrities we follow, the brands we buy, the magazines we read, basically what we have interests in and this data allows advertisers a massive advantage over the use of other platforms because 
There is no platform quite like Facebook when it comes to advertising. You're able to be so detailed with your targeting. You can target taxi drivers that were you know, engaged three months ago that have just had a newborn child that are interested in cats, pugs and farms. That example is entirely off the top of my head, but that is literally how targeted you can be. You can be so targeted um, through demographics, behaviours and interests. It's insane. And you'll learn all that and know how to use all that data in this course. So why Facebook ads? As I said, you've just got to be where your audience is. It's simple. Be where your audience are. If, you're, if your audience spends time on Facebook, you should be advertising on Facebook. You aren't going to reach as many engaged millennials by getting ad space in a newspaper or magazine today as you are running ads on social media. And that is simply because they spend more time on social media. They're more interested in the content on social media than they are that of a magazine or newspaper. The world's changing and advertising is changing with it. 